Hello everybody, thanks uh, to uh, some friends from a community related to R Factor. I finally managed to make uh, my R Factor copy work better and now I can uh, uh, make full races with uh, all the number of uh, original participants uh, to the races. In this case we are in Monte Carlo, uh, according to the the simulator these uh, were the actual races uh, that uh, participated to the, that race uh, and since I'm still uh, um, in love with the story of the um, Scuderia Centro Sud uh, I decided to pick up the only car that uh, uh, apparently <laughs> should have taken part uh, to uh, this race uh, which was uh, driven by Gerino Gerini <laughs> pilot uh, that uh, didn't uh, have uh, many uh, big uh, results uh, in his career but uh, uh, why not uh, taking uh, trying to take him um, to glory into this uh, simulated race after all here I have nothing to risk because I don't risk uh, neither money nor uh, <laughs> life <laughs> or health so let's uh, throw ourselves into this uh, nice race in this nice environment Okay, I left behind uh, at uh, the very start, uh, um, profiting from uh, cold tires uh, and uh, uh, prudence <laughs> uh, from uh, other uh, pilots. Uh, I left behind some uh, uh, BRMs, uh, or I think Jean Berat and another racer, and I'm already struggling with uh, a Ferrari and uh, uh, a Lotus. Now I have um, side by side uh, with the Vanwall of uh, uh, Stuart Lewis Evans, if I'm not right, uh, and in the Ferrari we had uh, Peter Collins, uh, followed by uh, Graham Hill uh, on the Lotus 12, uh, the tiny Lotus. It's interesting to see how big difference, uh, differences there are between cars. Uh, the Vanwall, uh, the, the Ferrari, the um, Maserati that I'm driving, which by the way is a two years old Maserati from 1956 <laughs> because uh, Scuderia Centro Sud was a private team that uh, could allow old cars only after they were made obsolete by new ones. Uh, compared to the light uh, and um, agile uh, but uh, underpowered the cars uh, such as uh, the Lotus uh, that I mentioned before and uh, the Cooper that you may have noticed uh, are in the front line uh, in this race of course uh, where uh, agility and being light uh, and uh, have good acceleration way <laughs> I think you made a, a certain mistake uh, uh, I think it's uh, Peter Collins uh, maybe, yes, because it's one of the Ferrari that was... Uh, or maybe a phone trip, so yeah, number 40. Okay, uh, I was talking about the cars. Uh, of course, in uh, a track like this, uh, where uh, power is not uh, the, the main uh, thing, the, the speed, the high speed is not the main thing, uh, agile cars uh, are in advantage. But let's focus on the race. Uh, okay, um, one last mention about my car, which is uh, old but above all is uh, overweight uh, rather than uh, underpowered. And uh, here I'm down to fight with the Ferraris. <laughs> I've got um, Mike Hawthorne on my left, uh, and I think it's uh, uh, Luigi Musso, uh, the other one, number 34. I noticed that uh, they break uh, always quite early. I think that um, there must be some issues with the brakes uh, or with the um, controllability of the car, but uh, the legendary power of the Ferrari helps them to try to attack again. I think I've made a very late braking act yeah, as a light contact with uh, the guardrail, but uh, light enough uh, to keep on racing. I set uh, the damage to 70% here, I remember. So, <laughs> to, how to say, uh, make uh, the little mistakes I plan <laughs> to do, well, most, more than plan, I take for granted that I will do many uh, small mistakes uh, to make them not uh, so extreme to stop the race, to end the race uh, too early. 
uh, well the AI skills uh, are not the best way to do this airplane I think the AI skills is set to 100% so I put myself to a really hard challenge Nevertheless, uh, I think I've got a, a Cooper in front of me and I'm starting the first attacks uh, to the Cooper cars. There are three Coopers in the front line. I think they are uh, Roy, Roy Salvadori uh, in front of me with uh, the blue nose uh, Cooper and then Maurice Trintignant the with the um, cigar-like uh, Cooper. And then uh, at the very top uh, of the grid uh, of the yeah uh, of the grid there is uh, Jack Brabham with an, uh, another Cooper. Now, uh, as I said before, the Cooper are in a neat advantage uh, here, but uh, as far as they fight each other, they're making my game so that <laughs> I can close in and sniff <laughs> the tail <laughs> of uh, one of those uh, British cars. Okay, no way to pass uh, from the outside here because uh, at uh, Le Portier uh, uh, corners uh, there's a wall on the outside, so no way to pass. Uh, but I see that uh, the Ferrari, especially on these uh, areas where you must go, watch out! This is the cursed chicane. I risked a whole lot, and I think I damaged the suspension. The Ferraris are taking advantage, but they always break early. I didn't uh, remember that. So slight contact, uh, fortunately it's a simulator so we can keep on fighting. Mike Houghton on my left, uh, but I take for granted he's gonna break early so I'm catching his position again. And I'm again uh, in a struggle with the Cooper cars. But uh, just have a look at how easily they accelerate uh, and leave me behind. While in the mirror there is uh, the Ferrari of course again because uh, he, it's more powerful. It's uh, very interesting to carry on such uh, battles uh, with uh, many differences uh, between the cars, uh, among the cars, uh, and above all, oh yeah, he made a mistake, uh, Roy Salvadori, a mistake, uh, while I think he made contact uh, with Maurice Trintignant, double overtake in a row, and I think I put a replay here because it's uh, too spectacular to <laughs> just let it go yeah retrieved well, first attack from the outside and then close the racing line in order to be first uh, at the uh, turn of the casino and heading down for uh, the Mirabeau Yeah, light uh, lock up, but these tires can stand it. Uh, these tires were uh, particular because they didn't have uh, much uh, wear, unless uh, they were overheated, and they tended to overheat quite easily. As you can see, the loss of control uh, is uh, happening right uh, after this battle. So, sure, I have uh, forced them uh, quite a bit uh, and then they start to wear out uh, more easily in this case yeah this time the uh, curse the chicane didn't kill me <laughs> turn the tabac and uh, again the sliding I think uh, I've uh, I made uh, a full lap uh, in the chase uh, of uh, Jack Brabham trying to optimize uh, no comments here, just the lap.
breaking, little breaking. Ah, big hit. But uh, let me pretend that uh, all that uh, hay saved the, the mechanics of my car. Okay, uh, this uh, pretended to be uh, an almost uh, clean uh, lap, uh, uh, trying to preserve uh, uh, tires uh, uh, while uh, filling up the gap uh, between uh, myself and Jack Brabham. And now that we are close to each other, let's watch from the onboard of Jack Brabham because you know in 58 uh, they used to fit the cameras on cars because they were so small uh, okay forget it uh, <laughs> we're in simulator right the start uh, the, the chase is starting uh, to to go to the to the final battle even though i set uh, a lot uh, of uh, laps uh, so after this uh, hopeful overtake uh, you may notice how far i am after uh, exiting the portier uh, turns but then i'm closing up after a very risky uh, chicane i faced uh, very 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 fast you know the cooper was uh, the first uh, uh, car who successfully that uh, successfully ah, another attack now too late braking crossing racing lines but the car is safe and uh, just a look at uh, the smoke coming out from my rear tires that's uh, exactly the point the cooper had the rear mounted engine so better traction better acceleration it was quite a light car even if not really powerful and my old maserati which is definitely overweight front engine and rear wheel drive of course uh, had big troubles uh, in uh, acceleration compared to the cooper so this is the the main uh, this is a surprise attack i think he didn't expect it and despite uh, this is uh, just an ai <laughs> i think we got a demoralized ai because uh, he sees not fighting back at once now he's in the position of uh, uh, filling up the gap uh, quite easily just like uh, i was talking about it before because he, he has more traction and better uh, weight to power uh, uh, power to weight sorry power to weight ratio but again uh, daring too much in this chicane i think i can keep him behind long enough uh, to to bring us uh, to bring the fight uh, in an area of the circuit circuit where i can still uh, keep the distance and keep the advantage unless unless I make such a stupid mistake plus I fry the engine uh, I smoke the engine out and my race is over so after all even uh, like uh, Gerino Gerini didn't win uh, the race uh, <laughs> not winning the race uh, like uh, not exactly like it happening in real life but uh, almost so uh, shit happens uh, so the race uh, ends here but uh, i think uh, this uh, was uh, extremely funny i wish i hope it was uh, um, a good show for the spectators uh, and uh, who knows maybe i will drag more people to feel the pleasure of driving these things thank you for watching a hug goodbye <laughs>